When a person thinks of INFJs, the last thing they will imagine is the tossing of tables, yelling, or simply showing a silent display of anger. However, all these things and words may probably be true for an INFJ who has been betrayed. An INFJ in scorn is not someone anyone would like to be around. And here's why you should never cross paths with an INFJ. Number 10. They cut off all contact. INFJs can be super brutal and ruthless when angry and when actively seeking revenge. But when it comes to things they can no longer change, such as a person's deep-seated character and intentions, they just go numb. An INFJ's seething yet silent treatment is one of the many ways they can make their traitors regret their betrayal. It's easy for an INFJ to cut off people and retreat from toxic relationships because they believe they have lots of important stuff to pour their mental and physical energy into. Dealing with someone who is so shallow and empty is not one of their priorities, and they can easily forget them to lead a highly productive and progressive life. And the last thing these perfectionists would ever do is waste their precious time at something that would only ruin their peace. Number 9. The Cold Shoulder It is no secret that INFJs are either too passionate or too cold, with no in-between. As they are all-or-nothing individuals, most mature INFJs are passionate about their projects and put their best foot forward in every situation, even if it's to help someone else. So, as you might have guessed by now, it is a bad idea to double-cross an INFJ. You might be spoiled with affection, compassion, and empathy today, but the door may be slammed on you the next minute. And this is indeed traumatic for someone who got used to being a confidant of the INFJ. What's scary is that INFJs know their cold shoulder has the potential to emotionally traumatize those who betray them. But so firm is their decision when they have been betrayed is that even if their traitors beg for their forgiveness, they don't feel anything at all. They had given their all to them in those times when they still thought they were genuine. But as soon as they've witnessed a person's hypocrisy, they make sure that the person realizes they have already reached the point of no return. Number 8. They will no longer take you seriously. INFJs are capable of seeing the good in people, even if they cannot see it themselves. As empathetic souls who wish the best for everyone, they do their best to guide people in the right direction to reach their full potential. So, in general, an INFJ is aware of how capable a person is. However, once betrayed, they will no longer see the traitor in the same way as how they saw them before. Every word that comes out of their mouth will no longer be acknowledged nor taken seriously. INFJ types may not hold grudges, but they can sit there with someone while their mind is flashing warning signs at them saying, I know what this person is up to, so I will not take him or her seriously. This is something nobody will wish even on their worst enemies, as this is insulting and disheartening. The person will be able to recall those days when the INFJ still saw them with high regard and respect. Well, if you have betrayed an INFJ even just once, you would know that they hardly care about your lengthy apologies, and everything you say will be ignored. Every time you betray them, the respect for you goes a notch down or is turned into dust all at once. Number 7. They will laugh internally. INFJ types can listen to people's lives all day long without reacting to them. They can't pretend to believe people's words for as long as they like because they can no longer take their traitors seriously. They can't help but silently laugh about everything they say as they feel like they have fooled themselves enough that they can't do anything but laugh at their mistakes. And their traitor is their mistake. INFJs hate confrontation and don't actively offend anyone, even if it means offending the person who has betrayed them. Instead, they just silently make fun of them and keep being grateful for the fact that they've finally seen the bigger picture. An INFJ laughing at their mistakes is an indication that they've finally forgiven themselves and freed themselves from whatever is hindering them from attaining awareness. Number 6. They protect their vulnerabilities Once an INFJ's trust is broken, they think that they've made a huge mistake in trusting that person. Once they accumulate all their realizations and finally claim their sanity back, they'll become more reserved and guarded than they were before. And what does this mean for their traitors? It means not having a single chance to break their strong walls again. So if you have betrayed an INFJ, it's better to move on with your own life too than waste your time begging for an INFJ's trust. Number 5. Trust will no longer be earned again. While INFJ types might eventually forgive those who betray them, they can't help but be disgusted by their seemingly factual and false statements. They are likely to never allow themselves to trust their traitors again, no matter how many apologies are given or no matter how much things are sugar-coated. In their eyes, allowing themselves to trust again is akin to disrespecting their logic, especially if they have been infinitely fooled once by the same person. As soon as they have created an impression of a person being capable of lying and cheating, that impression will stick in their minds forever. 
They know their worth and they can make themselves a rehab center for people who don't know how to fix themselves. INFJs will always prioritize their inner peace no matter what, and that's how it should be. Number 4. Emotional Manipulation Because it takes a lot for an INFJ to let people in and fully trust someone, the impact of betrayal in their life is debilitating. They can hardly imagine someone they share meaningful experiences with turning against them and being tempted to lash out in different ways. However, as INFJs, they choose to keep their cool and let their traders wonder what they're thinking. This is how they torture those who have hurt them and ruined their life. Instead of lashing out and making themselves look desperate, they avenge themselves by making the other person overthink without doing anything themselves. Number 3. The Iconic Door Slam Would INFJs even be INFJs without the iconic door slam? So if you've ever disappointed an INFJ and ruined their peace, you should expect to feel the wrath of their door slam. For INFJ types, there are no happy mediums. It's all in or all out. They either give everything or take away everything from people, and there are no two ways about it. When an INFJ slams the door on someone, it means they've had enough, and the person can no longer budge or wiggle into their lives in any way. This iconic door slam is the INFJ's ultimate weapon to stop someone from disrupting their productivity and ruining their inner peace. They see door slamming as a healthy way of withdrawing from a toxic relationship. Number 2. Objective Conversations INFJs communicate differently when it comes to lying and cheating. In general, they hate confrontations and avoid them at all costs. So when they are betrayed, they experience an emotional breakdown since they are unable to voice their feelings in a non-confrontational manner. In fact, INFJs prefer to mourn over a situation alone and never in front of their traitors because they see no point in doing so. They believe that those who betray them, whether knowingly or unknowingly, already have an idea of how they would feel before they betray them. Thus, it would be a waste of time and energy to re-emphasize their emotions. Instead of narrating their feelings in the utmost detail, INFJs instead point out what was wrong in their relationship in an objective manner with little to no feelings involved and end the conversation with an irrevocable decision to leave without even letting the other side voice their thoughts. Number 1. They built walls around themselves If you have betrayed an INFJ, just expect them to live a happy life without you in it. You'll no longer receive any updates as to how they're doing, what they achieved and how far they've gone. You'll eventually wonder how they've moved on and how they've completely gotten rid of you. Everything becomes private and you start questioning yourself. What on earth have you done to make them completely cut you out of their life? You will begin to feel so sorry for yourself for betraying someone who's capable of loving you genuinely as an INFJ. That's just the effect an INFJ has on people's lives. INFJ types are the most caring and passionate individuals of all, but you surely won't like it when their feelings for you turn into dust. So if you're a person who hates overthinking, the silent treatment and mentally frustrating conversations, the last thing you should do is betray an INFJ. Have you been betrayed by an INFJ? Have you ever betrayed an INFJ? What was your experience like? Comment below. As always, like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on psychology.